So the stage is set for the final act of the 1996 Five Nations. France aiming for the championship. Wales hopes much more modest to avoid the wooden spoon and another whitewash. They've really suffered all through the match. Lost the scrum half and now a second back row forward. Rafael Ibanez waiting for a famous moment for himself. He's on for his first ever cap for France. He came onto the replacements bench when Gonzalez was elevated to the team, when Marc de Rougemont withdrew earlier in the week. Now a hooker from Dax is on in the back row. He wears 20. Wales fighting their way forward again. Up to that 22. Howley sweeping it out to Neil Jenkins. Jenkins for the break, it's not there. A minute and a half remain of proper time. Neil Jenkins eyes the posts. Hit it badly. France is still alive. Christian Califano. What a run by the prop. That's the replacement, Ibanez. They're in their own 22. They haven't given it up yet, France. And they're as dangerous here as they are anywhere. Castaniet took his eye off the ball, crucially. Sets from Wales. Can his forwards supply the vital possession? Gareth to Welling. Heroic work for Wales. The man who led Wales to their last victory in the championship. Is it one safe bit of possession? Is it one safe kick? It's over the line. Wales Charms are raised aloft. At last, this calls for jubilation. John Humphreys sheds a tear of delight, of emotion, of relief. France leave dejected. Their hopes, their dreams of a championship have gone.